quick easy video on how to replace your turbo or boost solenoid valve on your EcoBoost 27, 23, 16, 20, 35 EcoBoost. Um, here's my little solenoid. I broke the connector that goes here. As you can see, I kind of made my own hack little T just to plug it for now so I could still drive the truck. I just didn't really beat on it or get into boost with it, but it has this push pin clip on here, like so. Um, you're gonna have to use a small pliers to get these little clamps off the hoses. You're just gonna pinch just like so, and that'll come off, and then you will remove this push pin clip here that holds this solenoid bracket on. Come on. And there you go. And here's my new boost solenoid. I got this from Rock Auto. It was like $26. There's a couple cheap ones on Amazon, and usually I don't really care, but um, it's a standard motor products brand is the one I got. This thing just lifts off. But as you can see, I broke this little piece right here. It's all fragile, brittle, old. Thing's got 200,000 miles on it. Warm climate, I, I think regardless of the miles, you know, this could obviously happen to you. Here's my new solenoid. You're gonna just slide it back down over this little spot in the intake manifold here, like so. And that'll sit flush. You'll connect this hose here, like that. Close this connector back in. And if you break this connector, this one's not a big deal. This is just a, um, literally a universal Ford intercooler pump pigtail for like a 99 to 04 lightning um, Ford uses a lot of the same stuff on everything which is nice put my little bracket back here to hold that down put this hose back on like so and then I will take all right well this part I didn't think out that well uh... I'm gonna have to make a little piece of vacuum hose here to go back here, but providing you don't break yours and destroy it and get mad and throw stuff out like I did, you will obviously have your old hose. So here's my pliers to grab this little clamp. You slide it up like so. Do the same thing for this girl. Around the bend. Let's do a little bit more here. Come on, get out of the way. And that's that. So that is how to change your boost solenoid valve or whatever you want to call it on the EcoBoost motor. This just runs all your vacuum lines from your charge pipe through that. I don't really know if it makes it not overboost or it overboosts or whatever the case may be, but that's that. I did my valve cover gasket only on the passenger side. It took me like two hours round trip. It really wasn't terrible um, of a job. The driver's side one has the uh, high pressure pump came with the gaskets and everything but I'm not tackling that side until it leaks because I think that one's more labor intensive than this side was so we're just holding off here but that's it